everyone, I'm Jeanette from Boricua Sewing and Crafts. In this video, I want to talk to you about the back covering of an embroidery, okay? A lot of people sometimes they skip this step, but I wanted to show you what happens if you do. So if you are selling shirts to people, I just wanted to make this video because I really wanted you guys to see the difference that it really does make when you are providing someone a finished product, okay? So um, when you are embroidering, right? Um, you know, usually I always tell people if you are embroidering clothing to always use cutaway um, stabilizer. The reason why I say that is because cutaway stabilizer does not dissolve in the washing machine. And cutaway stabilizer also helps to keep all the stitches intact. So, um, I have two t-shirts that I've made. Um, both of them are with cutaway stabilizer. One of them I put um, a, a backing on it and the other one I didn't. And I have washed both of these shirts for several times, okay? So I want to show you what it looks like inside out after you washed it about five or six times, okay? So that way you can see what your customers get if you choose not to use the backing, all right? So this is a t-shirt that I had made um, for me to wear during my embroidery happy hour on Fridays. Um, and I had, you know, I embroidered the, the, the front, kind of messed it up a little bit. So what I did was I just cut the neck off of the shirt and I just wear it that way. It's for me anyway, so that's why I'm like, I don't really care about it. But because it was for me, I kind of skipped the step of putting the backing on the stabilizer, okay? So I'm gonna turn it upside down so that you guys can see what it looks like after a couple of washings, okay? So this is the cutaway stabilizer and this is after I've washed it for a couple of times. It's, as you can see, it's not exactly very, very attractive, okay? It's not something that I'm gonna want my customers to see after they finish washing it a couple of times. Because you got to remember, customers, you know, if they really, really like your product, they will go ahead and they'll look at your store again and then they'll buy more shirts, right? But just so that you know, this is what happens after you wash it a couple of times. This is cutaway stabilizer. As you can see, it did not dissolve, but it does have a little bit of fuzz on it, okay? So not attractive at all, but it's still keeping all of the stitches intact, okay? Because when I turn it back, inside out the shirt looks great it's not a problem you know and that's another thing too you know if you use tear away on shirts and what happens is the tear away stabilizer dissolves and then this shirt will start to crumble up a little bit okay and customers aren't gonna like that so i like me personally that's just me if you want to use a tear away stabilizer go ahead but i always as you know as something that i always do is whenever i have a shirt or a sweatshirt that I wear, you know, because this is really stretchy fabric, I always use cutaway stabilizer whenever I make the, search, the shirts. So as you can see, it's still stitched out really, really nice, okay? Now, I have this other shirt that I made for myself to celebrate when I got a thousand subscribers on my YouTube channel, right? I never thought I would get that much, but I did. So, <laughs> well, anyway, Here's the shirt that I made to celebrate on that in, um, happy hour embroidery, okay? And as you can see, it looks really good. Actually, I think it actually looks better than the um, gray shirt that I have, okay? Um, it could be maybe the design or something, I don't know. But um, I'm going to turn it inside out and I'm gonna show you what the inside of this shirt looks after I've washed it a couple of times because I've worn it and I've washed it. And here you go. See, um, not a lot neater. Um, you know, this is something that's a lot better and you know, it doesn't irritate the skin and stuff like that. And you know, it looks a lot better. Now, you know, for those that do black shirts, okay, we they do sell the backing. I didn't have it at the time, I just had white. They do sell this in black and this is the black one okay so if i was to do this shirt all over again i would use the black on this okay so that way it would look a lot lot better okay so i just wanted to show you guys real quick what it looks like if you choose not to use 
the cover stable, you know, the cover cover backing or whatever. Uh, I think they call it cloud backing or something like that, or some people use tender touch and stuff like that. But just wanted to show you what happens when, you know, what it looks like actually, when you take it out of the wash after several washes, you know, in inside the shirt, okay? So this, I would feel more comfortable giving a customer because, you know, it looks neater, it looks better, and it looks more, more stable. So just wanted to provide this video and stuff because, you know, sometimes people like me, you know, um, you know, some, you, you see certain steps that are made during a process of creating something. And sometimes you always think, well, do you really need that extra step? But, you know, I just wanted to show you guys the benefit if you use that, you know. So, you know, if you're selling to customers and stuff like that, the backing does make a big difference. So anyway, hope you enjoyed this video and give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel. I do embroidery happy hour every Friday at 8 o'clock standard Easter time. Um, you know, and also I have a Facebook group called, um, Embroidery Happy Hour Adventures. Please feel free to join my Facebook group. It's a great fun group where lots of people support each other and share each other's projects. We got a lot of people that are beginners in embroidery. So, you know, hope you have a great one and, you know, hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it informative and have a great day. Bye.